in the most remote areas of the Earth or space, generating electricity and heat is a technological challenge. Many applications require an energy source capable of operating for very long periods, and americium 241 provides the solution thanks to its half-life of over 400 years and high energy density. This is why Orano, the world leader in nuclear recycling, leveraging more than 50 years of expertise in engineering and operating nuclear chemical facilities, is developing at its site in La Hague an industrial process to extract isotopically pure americium-241 from plutonium derived from spent fuel stored and processed at La Hague. The journey of the americium-241 begins within the plutonium redissolution unit. Let's take a closer look. It all starts with the electrochemical dissolution of plutonium oxide powder in a tank filled with nitric acid and a reagent. This results in a solution composed of plutonium, americium, and some impurities. This solution is then directed to an ion exchange resin column to separate the elements. The resin, made of small white and transparent beads, gradually captures plutonium. The solution, now free of plutonium but still rich in americium, is evacuated. To repeat the process, the resin saturated with plutonium must be regenerated. Nitric acid is used to clean it in a process called elution. The released plutonium is evacuated, and the resin is ready for reuse for a new extraction cycle. The purification of americium can then begin. The goal is to separate it from other impurities. The solution passes through a second column containing another resin, which this time captures the americium. Residual impurities, unaffected by the resin, are removed. The saturated resin is then cleaned. This new elution releases the americium from the resin beads. The final step of the process involves converting the liquid americium solution into a solid americium oxide powder, making it easier to handle and transport. This conversion occurs in three stages. First, the liquid americium solution is mixed with oxalic acid to produce a precipitate of americium oxalate. Next, this precipitate is separated from the solution through filtration. During this second step, the solid powder accumulates on the filter while the solution passes through. The powder is then heated in a furnace. This final calcination step, conducted at over 550 degrees Celsius in dry air, produces the final product, americium oxide powder. There are the six stages involved in the production of the americium-241. The isotopic purity of americium-241, produced at La Hague, is of great interest to high-tech sectors. The potential applications are numerous, and a significant increase in global demand for americium-241 is expected in the coming decades. Orano relies on its industrial facilities and extensive expertise to meet this demand. Orano continuously innovates to develop new activities that support industrial, energy, and environmental transitions.